Good day everyone, and welcome back to a very exciting day in Biddy and Miley's story. So this day started like any other. Um, she wakes up at around 5 to 6, and she's just been incubating the last couple of days, and there hasn't been much else going on. Miley would feed her the odd time. Um, so this started out like any other day, except that we know that the eggs are going to hatch today. So by the afternoon, um, the eggs are all still intact. And we can see that here from when Biddy decided to go out and stretch her wings or get a bite to eat. And I was expecting the eggs to hatch in the morning as they usually do, um, but it's actually not until later in the day. And you can see that when Miley feeds Biddy here, that she eats it up herself. So she still has no chicks at 10 to 4 to feed. But by 20 past 4, there's a lot of fidgeting going around and she's spending a lot of time looking down at her nest cup. And by a quarter to five, she seems to be eating something down there. Now don't be alarmed, it is just the eggshells. So one of the eggs have actually hatched and she would be eating that eggshell to replace all that lost calcium that she would have lost during laying. So it's a good resource so they don't waste it and they do eat it up. But it's not till five o'clock until Biddy decides to leave and we see the first glimpse of the first chick. The fruits of all Biddy and Miley's efforts so far. And thankfully it's not one minute later until that little mouth has its first meal by Biddy. And you can see Biddy does be going out and getting some food from time to time. But she does still have to incubate the rest of the eggs. So there's going to be a bit of a balancing act with herself. Most of the feeding at the start should be coming from Miley, which it is. And this is actually the first time Miley gets to see his chick. That chattering that you're hearing the birds making is the call they use to try to encourage the chicks to feed and when they're still young it takes a lot of energy for the chicks to lift their head and grab the food. Miley seems to be having trouble getting the hang of this today but I've seen this before um, and they do generally catch on after a day or two but no harm as Biddy is always there to take the food off him and feed him. She seems to be a little bit more successful in coaxing them to feed. And as I've said, Biddy still needs to incubate these eggs and also keep the chicks warm. They would quickly die of exposure if not kept warm by Biddy. And Miley is really starting to show his worth. He is coming in and out with food quite regularly. Um, a lot more regularly now that the chick has arrived. Um, which is great to see. Signs of things to come. And poor Miley is really trying to figure out how to feed these chicks successfully. You can see him here taking great interest in the chicks 
and seeing Biddy feed them. But it's not long until Biddy starts telling them to go get more food. And you can see him here really trying to feed this chick. Now the chick may be not hungry at the moment, but he just doesn't seem to be able to get them to feed for him. But thankfully Biddy arrives to show him how it is done. And again, I don't think this is anything to be concerned about. I have seen it before. Sometimes males seem to find it harder to pick up um, feeding the chicks. But it usually takes them a day or two to get the habit just right. Talk about doting parents. And it's not till six o'clock, a full nearly an hour later, that she starts to look down at the eggs again and looks like she is eating more eggshells. And this is when I think a second egg hatched. And it's not for 10 minutes later that um, it is revealed that that is the case. And if you look carefully, you can actually make out a chick coming out of an egg. And when Biddy leaves, we can finally see the remains of the eggshell. And you can also partially see the new chick that is only moments old, um, just hiding behind that same pesky bit of moss. Now I don't know if it's just because I've been looking at this with the side view nest box rather than the more traditional overtop, but Miley seems to be just fascinated by the chicks a lot of the time. He spends a lot of time looking at them. And I have to say I am really enjoying now that the chicks are hatching seeing these intimate shots. Um, you can really see and get a feel for how tender and soft they are with their chicks. Something I hadn't seen before. It's also quite adorable when both of them are sitting looking at their chick like this. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is a third egg that the biddy seems to be eating. It could be one of the eggs that have already hatched but you can see her here eating it. And uh, again this is to replace the calcium that she would have lost and it's a good resource so it's good to see her doing it. But she takes it a little bit off it out just here. I think she's struggling to eat it in the nest. Uh, and I have a feeling she took it out to eat it on a perch. So she has something to put it against.
And this is a really lovely sequence of Miley trying to figure out how to feed the chicks. So you can see he gave Biddy the food and she puts it in the chick's mouth. He then takes it back out to put it in himself to try to learn how to do it. But he does seem to be struggling with it. But Biddy eventually manages to feed the chick and you can see Miley attentively looking and learning. But once he keeps bringing in the food, there won't be a problem. And again, he comes in and feeds Biddy the food that he wants the chicks to be fed with. And then again, watches to try to mimic what she does. And when you remember the size of the cat's paw that came in the nest hole, in comparison to the blue tits, it really goes to show just how small these chicks are. They are really, really tiny. And this is one of the last feeds of the day. So it's going to be a busy few weeks for Biddy and Miley. They're going to have their work cut out for them. But I am looking forward to, and I hope you are, to seeing their story unfold. Hopefully it's a happy story. Um, the weather is given to be good for the next few days, which are the crucial days. Um, so fingers crossed everything goes well. So eventually Biddy turned in at around 8 o'clock. So as always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.